hello, hello, everyone, and welcome to spring. Today is the first day of spring. Spring st starts sometime today. Now, I will tell you this, that on Sunday, we had the equinox. So we had equal uh, daylight and darkness. And yet today <laughs> is when they do it as spring. So they, they've got it from some other, I don't know if it's Greenwich Mean Time or wherever it is, but yeah. So, alrighty, my name is Ava. And this is Stitching in the Interlake. And I'd like to welcome you all to my channel. Yes, 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 indeed. Uh, today is a very windy, blustery, cold day. Because the wind is coming from the north down. It's, a, it's sunny. But it's, the wind just goes right through you. So, I noticed yesterday, well, actually, I noticed on Sunday that the plastic and the, um, the rubberized tarp or whatever you want to call it that was put on the back porch, the plastic was coming off, but also the rubberized tarp was coming off slowly coming off so last night I'm sitting here and all of a sudden I see the plastic coming down my front window but it was still attached there somewhere because it hadn't blown off today it is that it's over on this side on the east side of the house and actually it it blows down between my living room window, like I can see a little bit of it up there. And then over uh, in the kitchen, it, it comes down a little bit more. So, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So, uh, yeah, so I put a call in to, uh, or well, I texted Juliet and told her, and I said, you know, what was happening and that if that rubberized tarp lifts up and it's gone, that means there's nothing there on the roof. That means all the holes that are in the roof are right there. They're open. Because it was the rubberized uh, tarp and the, um, the plastic that was protecting it and it's it's all down here <laughs> you can see it the the plastic so she's got to call in to the um to the people the 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 guys that are going to fix the roof and to see if they will come over here and try and fix it up because i know there's no way that they can do the roof right now it has to wait it about another month so anyway so that's where that stands but um otherwise it's um yeah that's about it so what did i do yesterday i didn't do a whole heck of a lot i um Washed the dishes, did a little laundry, and I stitched. I should have shown you this. Boy, I got hair all in this. Oh, it's just, that's what happens when you have pets, right? And I lose hair quite a bit too. So that doesn't help. But I can tell my hair um, is different than their hair because Jonah and Lily Bell's hair is um, much shorter, <laughs> much, much shorter than mine. Ah, okay, so we'll do this. 
and uh yeah and that's about all that I did do I watched no yesterday I actually turned the tv off because the noise was irritating me again noise and movement and things like that it was just bothering me so to protect me from the insanity of it all I decided well I'm gonna shut it all down and I will just you know I'll sit here in the quiet and that's what I did no music no nothing it was just Everything was just, just like fingers on a chalkboard. So, uh, just a minute here. I will, yeah, and then show you here. So, I am working here on February, or no, Fantasy Teacup. Okay. So, I started this in February. And it's continuing in March, which is, it's not easy being green. And it's because there is green in my pattern. Okay. And I also started, oops, if I can get this all, <coughs> oh, I've got this with masking tape, but the masking tape isn't holding. I started on my Lady Rose. So this here is her hat. Don't mind the red lines. I had them all mixed up. And sometimes like there's double lines. Because <laughs> I miscounted. So, but I guess that's the way it is. So, uh, yeah. I know you can't really see it that much, but this is her hat, okay? This is her hat coming down. I've decided to, instead of using 3865, I am going to use um, um, white E12. Give it that little bit of sparkle. And then also, I have decided to change two colors so far, which is 211 and 776 to beads. That's the way it's looking right now. I'll have to see. I don't know if you can hear it, but the tarp is... I'm just waiting for it to, to go off. Yeah. So, um... But, uh... Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to get to working on it. And, uh, but yesterday I, and today I, uh, am watching a random stitcher. That's Loon. She's over in Denmark. And then I was watching, um, Scrapping Grandma, which is Rana. She's from out there at, at, in Victoria. So I watched her. And who else did I watch? Oh my gosh. I oh this morning I watched a um North Island Stitcher, I think is who it is. And she's from the North Island of New Zealand. So it was nice watching her. Never seen her before. 
and uh yeah so i think that's all i've watched so far but i could have had a few more in there sometimes it's just whatever rolls up you know and i um i don't pay attention to who it is i just let it let it go so Yep. The one thing I'm not happy about with this fabric are the size of the holes in here. Do you see how open that is? The weave should be tighter. Right? Like, the holes are very clear on this. This is an 11 count. Oh, like here. Like, let's do this. Do you see here on the 11? Yes, you can see them. But there's more of the um, Ada or flax or linen or whatever it is here to give it a bulkier look. This does not have that. Seems to me like there should be two extra threads here on each side. They don't have that. So I'm not very happy about that. So. Yes, yes, yes. But it's going along okay. It's, uh, I've had 16 count where it's a lot, the weave is tighter. And I like that better. Like that to me is just too open. It's almost like a, um, to me it almost feels like needlepoint canvas. I had a decent sleep last night, but I've been up. Oh, I've been up since just after five. Lily Bell woke me up, and I had to go to the bathroom. So I got up. But now I'm really tired. I had this dream. Well, actually, I think it was a combination of a couple of dreams. The first part of the dream was that I had gone, I had done time travel back to the early 1960s when I lived in this town. <sighs> as a child and um, I saw the town from my eyes now versus what it was like when I was a child and um, it was now, I don't know if this happened in my town, and I don't think it did, that there was a fire, a big fire down, but it was like a lumber yard or something like that. And as far as I know, there's never been a lumber yard there. Never. Um, so... I don't know. I don't know. And then I got up to the bathroom. And then when I went and laid back down, I, um, this time my dream went to, excuse me. 
Um, this time, when I went back in time, I went to around mid-1990s, early 1990s. And I remember going up to people in my dream to tell them to buy stock in certain companies because the price was going to skyrocket and just buy, you know, um, a thousand dollars or whatever it is. And I said, you will become millionaires. And, um, so then that's, that's what happened. I don't know what happened after that. I don't know what happened in my, uh, dream, how it ended, anything. So, yeah, it was, like, it was one of those dreams that was really intense. Really, really intense. Like, I could see details and colors and uh, feel everything as if I was actually physically back there as an adult. And, um... Yeah, it was just really, I mean, I love it when I have dreams like that that are so vivid and intense. Because usually I believe that they mean something, really, that there is something in that that means something. Because that's why it was so intense, so that I would remember or I will remember as time goes on. Oh, I don't know why I'm yawning. I have no idea. Maybe it's the weather. Could be the weather. It's just cold. And, and I'm chilled and, yeah, not very, not very nice. So this color thread I'm using right now is 995. And um, I believe I, I do not have a picture of, oh, just a minute here. <laughs> oh. Yeah, right there. I think I can do it. So just a sec, a second. I will show you. Um, okay, right here. Uh -huh, right there. <coughs> and it's. No. I don't think this is the... Maybe it is the... La it must be the lady I'm working on. Yeah, her head's going... Her hat's going in the right direction. That's what I'm working on. Okay. So I'm right here... Oh, I don't know which way it, I, I think it was right here that I was working. So I'm doing that and there's white in here and like in here. So as to add sparkle and all that, I am putting it as a toile, white a toile. And then there will be beads in here all over in here. So that's what I'm working on. 
And I think it's going to look pretty snazzy. It's big, though. Big, big, big. Even on a 16 count, it's big. I would have had enough 18 count. I would have done it on that. But it's, um, yeah. So I'm looking forward to how it's developing. There is that blended threads in it. There's, I don't know, six or seven of them that you have to blend or tweed or twist or whatever, whatever you want to call it. I don't know if I didn't sleep out this morning. <gasps> oh, oh, sorry if I'm causing you guys to yawn. <laughs> oh, please remember on Sunday, <clears throat> there is no live. <coughs> no, there is a live. There is a live this Sunday. Correction. Correction, correction. It is next Sunday, Easter Sunday. There is no live. And then once we get past Holy Week, then it will, um, we'll get back to my regular schedule. So, which is good. So, but that's okay. That's the way it is. And also, I think it would probably be better because on, um, you may have company on Sunday and nobody will be joining me or very few people would be joining me unless you don't celebrate um, Easter. Yes. So this is the saddest week in liturgical history or in liturgical. Yeah, liturgical history, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So it's. Um, so I've done really well with my um, Lent. How I gave up bread for Lent. I have not had bread. Not had bread. I am looking forward to having a sandwich. <laughs> and see, that's why they make the Easter bread. The tarp is right here, right in front of the window. Um, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go and take it down. It's hanging up there by whatever, whatever's still holding it, because it was attached way back here. And now it's way over here. So it's come right across the roof and it's it's got to be holding on there. Oh, I have not heard yet. Nothing came in the mail yesterday. Not a thing. So I am praying that it will. I'll hear a response today. This is day 12. So Juliet is going to go later and see what's come in the mail. And um, praying that it's so. But I decided that um, 
because Susie on her, the driver's side of the car, um, her tires are right in, they're in a dip, like about that deep, maybe even deeper. And they're frozen in there. So I said, I'm really scared of moving her because... I said I would be worried about the axles and the bearings and that kind of thing. And um, that it would be, you know, it trying to pull it. It's sort of like if you've got your emergency brake on, on your vehicle and you're trying to pull it. It's not going to go anywhere. Or say the air brakes on a, on a tractor trailer, right? That, um, that's why, like, if you see, uh, usually tandem skid marks and they go off to the side of the road, it's usually an airline has broken. And, the um, um, the brakes have dynamited. They've they've just seized right up. They've clamped on. They're applied. Whatever you want to call it. And it can't be moved until those their air is put in there to release the brakes. So. That's kind of, you know, I tell people, don't follow too behind, too close behind a um, tractor trailer, right? Don't, because you don't know, is there going to be a blowout on one of the tires? That's a, That happens quite frequently. Is it going to be that they lose something underneath the truck and it comes out and hits you? Or is it that they are going along and uh, there's some rubbish or something like that and that flies up, right? So it's always best to keep distance, right? And remember, if you can't see their mirrors, they can't see you. Okay. Just just some words of advice. Because you think you're stuck right behind the trailer and you think, oh, well, they can see me, they can see me. No, they can't. Unless they have rear-facing cameras. Now, I really don't know how many have rear-facing cameras. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So. It's just words of advice. It's for your safety and theirs. Right? So, yep, it's nice to have a little bit brighter blue on here. It's kind of, but I am going to work on my Lady Rose. And see about getting her done. Or at least more work done on her. And she is going to be the counted focus piece for now through whenever I get bored of her. Um, and the printed focus piece for April, which is hats off to April, is going to be Uh, 
here. Can you see that? Mother Teresa. So, yes, I'm going to work on her. So... So yeah, exciting. One day I got to go to, um, I don't know. I still got to, it's a week tomorrow that is payday. So I might see if I can hold off until next, next week. But I might not be able to because I'm running out of creamer for my coffee. And, um, so yeah, so anyways, um, so I may have to go and also if it is that I get approved to have my driver's license removed, I want to go and get it. Even if I'm not out there driving Susie around yet, then I can uh, I can at least get my driver's license back. So then that means if Juliet needs me to drive, that I can drive. So, yep. But I hope it warms up. I'm tired of this. Well, it is March, and so as they say, March winds, April showers, bring May flowers, right? It's just the wind's been pretty wicked here. So please remember to like, share, subscribe, comment. And I always like to read your comments. And um, and please remember that YouTube does like to, yeah, they like to kind of take people away. <laughs> so make sure that you are subscribed, okay? And always click that notification bell and then you'll be notified when I post a video. Yes. Um, so then, um, what was I going to say? I do have a dedicated Facebook group, which is stitching in the interlake at gmail.com. No. Facebook group, stitching in the interlake. Getting them mixed up. My Gmail address is stitching in the interlake at gmail.com. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Yes, yes, yes. Yep. Yeah. Sometimes I get whacked out. I think it's the lack of, lack of oxygen to my brain today. <laughs> that's why I'm yawning so much. All right, everyone, I guess that's it. So um, I hope to see you back here tomorrow. Please comment down below. Just say hi if you're new here, where you're from. Um, yeah, so go and uh, check out a random stitcher. Uh, uh, the Swinny Switch Effect. Um, Scrapping Grandma. Geared Up Crafting. Um, uh, Becky's Madness for Crafting. Um, <laughs> um, Garon Stitch Stitchery. Garon Stitchery. They have, they're just getting ready to open up their brick and mortar store, but they've been doing an online store and I'm assuming that will continue. 
and they're in Alabama. So please go and check them out. Show them some love. And uh, yeah, just, I guess that's it. So thank you, Heavenly Father, for the gift of your son and his blessed mother Mary and her spouse, St. Joseph. Thank you for your grace, your mercy, your compassion. Thank you for love and your kindness. Thank you for everything that you have done for me, O oh Lord, even the smallest things I know nothing about. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be well. May God bless you this day and every day. God loves you and so do I. I got that so whacked out. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> stuff happens right when you're having fun all right everybody we'll see you tomorrow doodle doodles everybody